Well, as you may have guessed, we're in San Francisco. <laughs> And we came here for a very specific reason. Yeah. Well, the main reason we came to San Francisco was Alcatraz. The Rock. <laughs> we can't wait. To, it's this a bucket is, list for This us. has been on our bucket list from before we even went full time RVing. Yeah. Just it's, as a, if you go to California, we gotta go do this. Yeah, and and we'll just pre warn you, it's spendy. God. It God. is expensive. I mean, it was how much a person? Well, that's what's tricky. Is it, it, they say it's 41 a person. Yes. But when you buy them online, there is a $10 per ticket service fee for the yeah, transaction. So 51 And then it was like $7 in California taxes. So it was like, it came to 112 something for the two of us <laughs> to do this today. So about 55 bucks a person after all the fees and everything that's just for the tour of alcatraz it includes the boat ride over there yeah. the tour it's a two and a half hour deal um parking yeah. by the piers you, you can do hourly but because this is a lengthy thing you don't know how many hours so we paid for all day parking and all day parking was 40 dollars. 40 bucks so now we're up to 150 bucks <laughs> total we hadn't done it <laughs> and we ate lunch that was 40 bucks yeah. so yeah we're up to almost 200 bucks and we haven't even stepped onto the boat yet that's right <laughs> but there but, it is but it's gonna be worth the money it is yeah it's just one of those so, things that you, you gotta you gotta bite the bullet it up and, and do say, it eh. alcatraz the famous federal prison off the chilly waters of san francisco bay housed some of the most difficult and dangerous felons in the world Welcome to The Rock. Before Alcatraz was a federal prison, it was a military prison. The U.S. Army began incarcerating military prisoners inside the new fortress in the late 1850s. During the Civil War, prisoners included Union deserters and Confederate sympathizers. The cells were also used to imprison Native Americans who had land disagreements with the federal government. Alcatraz was home to the Pacific Coast's first lighthouse. When a small lighthouse on top of the Rocky Island was activated in 1854, it became the first of its kind on the west coast of the United States. The beacon became obsolete in the early 1900s after the U.S. Army constructed a cell house that blocked its view of the Golden Gate. A new, taller lighthouse replaced it in 1909. The convicts housed at Alcatraz were not necessarily those who had committed the most violent or heinous crimes, but they were the convicts in most need of an attitude adjustment, the most disobedient inmates in the federal penal system. They had bribed guards and attempted escapes, and a trip to Alcatraz was intended to get them to follow the rules so that they could return to other federal facilities. We're in the yard. Yard. It's wicked windy in the yard. <laughs> it's wicked windy out here. It's crazy. <laughs> they were. It was like this all the time That's for them. It's crazy. Cause this is. I mean, this is mid-September. Where yeah. it's warm back in downtown San Francisco. <laughs> well, we said the high today is 65. It's probably not even 65. No, with that wind chill. It's and with the less. wind, yeah, it's probably cooler. We're wearing our hoodies. And so they got yard time once Saturdays a, and Sundays, two and a half hours each day. Unless they were in solitary. Yeah. Now, we did walk through the solitary area. They're in their cells 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They're out for a short period once a week. And it was either one or one and a half hours a week, a week and that was to shower yeah. and basic stuff. They had shower and then they had like a little bit of just recreational time, but yeah. not much. So, uh, and then the ones that were like really, really locked in, it was like a row of like 10 cells there. It was like, you Truth lock them and then there was another the door, door like, shut up all light. that was crazy. Was really dark. And then we went down um, and saw uh, the escape cell blocks. Yeah. The cell block. The cells that people escaped from in 1962. Yeah, the infamous escape. Yeah, and they dug their way out with spoons yeah. into like the service corridors. Yeah. Climbed their way to the roof, 
out onto the roof and then down the uh like the drainage poles and then once you get it then you gotta swim now you gotta swim they're still considered uh missing yeah they're gone they're dead yeah, never found them. yeah they're in the bay <laughs> they got eaten up by crabs at the bottom of the ocean wouldn't that be crazy though if, if one if or, they just got if out if they did manage to get out and they just been yeah well, i mean they'd be dead now but. yeah we couldn't vlog a lot in there just because uh masks yeah and there's a lot of people with the audio tour so you're hearing everybody's audio yeah tour. Uh, the other thing i wanted to point out was uh broadway you saw broadway that cell block um that was segregation yeah for um all your uh, african-americans hispanics uh asians anything other than caucasian that, that broadway was was where they stayed yeah and actually broadway was the last cell block to leave alcatraz in 1963 when it closed oh, yeah so they were the last ones out out of here and um man those cells are so small it's so tiny it's crazy um i would lose my mind in there yeah leslie took a picture of me i'm touching both sides um, yeah flat handed your wingspan flat handed on both walls so, so they're like true six by eight yeah really and you and they were in there for i mean for general population they were in there for a large portion of the day yeah. but some of them that like worked weren't in there for all day um the segregation uh, not the segregation but the um the solitary ones were a little bit bigger because they're in there way longer every day <laughs> every day except yeah. for an hour a, a week. week yeah so so they got a little bit more movability in there yeah because they are not allowed to go anywhere else <laughs> yeah we got to see um foods are brought to them books are brought to them so they don't get to go see the library and the dining facility yeah the dining hall was crazy that was an interesting place to me yeah because i don't know if you saw it but it mentions that they had the best food in the prison system period yeah it was alcatraz and and i think it played mainly off of because the staff and the inmates ate the exact same meals oh wow so the so, staff's like we're not gonna eat crap <laughs> so it's gonna be good so that they did get fed well here yeah so they super had windy form. super windy i can't believe how windy it is windy. and then like i guess i don't know if it's luck of the draw or you know when you come in or your status or what kind of a prisoner you are yeah but certain cells were better yeah because they had either light coming through most of the day like those internal ones internal cell blocks facing each other there's no, no light windows. but then in the bottom row Couldn't on the ground level the yeah there's no window access but if you were second or third tier you actually had a view yeah not bad and actually a sunset view of san francisco in the evening time yeah. for the solitary guys yeah that were on the second tier, tier or higher yeah um but again i don't know if it's luck of the draw or how they how they chose where they were i guess if you pissed off the guards you get yeah it probably your demeanor yeah you know, if you were a good inmate a cooperative inmate and a lot of people got murdered in here yeah they were talking about some of the guys who who were inmates here who uh didn't make it out of here they were killed in prison yeah so it was a pretty violent place too and and they say that alcatraz is haunted yes and they do yeah. night tours they do so which would be crazy probably cool be pretty interesting yeah and creepy imagine how much this place colder is, it would be at night it's be creepy on its creepy. own during the day yeah. so um, yeah but anyway other yeah, these hopefully, walls could talk oh i know oh it'd be so crazy <laughs> <laughs> anyway i'm sure there's lots more to see so we're gonna go see it all right The most famous inmate to call Alcatraz home was inmate number 85, the notorious mob boss and gangster Al Capone. He worked as an orderly on Alcatraz, mopping and cleaning. He admitted one day to the warden that the rock has got me licked. Capone became so cooperative that he was permitted to play the banjo in the prison band, the Rock Islanders. A total of 36 inmates put the supposedly escape-proof Alcatraz to the test. Of those 36 convicts, 23 were captured, 6 were shot to death, and 2 drowned. The other 5 went missing and were presumed drowned, including Frank Morris and brothers John and Clarence Anglin, whose 1962 attempted breakout inspired the 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz. The crafty trio chipped away at the rotted concrete cell walls with sharpened spoons and fashioned to decoy heads complete with used locks of hair from the barbershop 
that they had placed in their beds to fool the guards. Their possessions were found floating in San Francisco Bay, but no bodies were ever recovered. Throughout the island, you can see and explore filming locations from movies like Escape from Alcatraz Island and The Rock. Guards and staff lived on Alcatraz Island with their families. Over a hundred children called Alcatraz home. All the children had to take a boat on and off the island in order to attend school in the city of San Francisco. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us to explore Alcatraz. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is in the description of this video. We appreciate you watching. So long from The Rock.